Salut to and welcome back to the Lind of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm Halis Crew Host. On the last episode, we started with Urbosa's song, well, part of the Battle of the Champion song, completing two of the three trials. And today, well, I'm here by the Giga Clan's giant hall where their master fell and killed himself. So, hey, um, there's a guy here, uh, apparently very scared, and another. Is that a girl? Yeah, a girl. So, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that might be me. Ooh. What? Why are they here? Oh, an orb? I didn't see an orb at the Gerudo city. Huh. I bet, yeah, if I can't deal with them. I think so, yeah. Second orb? Okay, yeah. I'll. Huh. Uh, <laughs> That's your clue, I guess, if the song wasn't obvious enough. You have to come here again. Steal the orb. Well, it, that's not again, but you need to steal a treasure from this place again. And throw it down the hole. This is partly why I also got the um, sneaking suit. So that at least it'll be harder for them to hear me. Wasn't there a stair around here? I think there was. I don't know where though. Maybe on the other end. The orb is up there um, where a chest was before. Uh, the last time we came here. Um... Boop. That was close. Oh, there's a... There's a stir. I guess that... Works. Don't... I... <laughs> that was a close one. I... I thought I was caught. Lucky for me, they... Don't seem to know how to lock up. Let's wait for that to pass. There we go. So now we can climb <laughs> through the side. <laughs> yeah, too bad we can't just climb through one of these giant uh, window cells. Are there? Is that the name? Not entirely sure if that's the real name, the name for these things. <laughs> that was close. Okay. Well, let's grab some bananas while we're here. And grab this orb. Let's go back to our sneaking suit. And let's see... Right now it seems to be a good moment. Yep, 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 yep. And that's done! With the sneaking suit, this is far easier than it should be. Hey, I got the orb! When I... Wanna talk about it? It is! Actually, I found it! First, you knew you knew you found the location, but oh. I found the orb. Yep, mm -hmm, I did uh, all of that. Yeah, sure. Uh, too bad they're not gonna find that because I'm. I don't really need this thing, so I'll just throw it away. Yep. Bye. That is indeed a very deep hole. <laughs> I wonder if that orb hit the orb that buried... Well, no, actually, I don't... No, the... I was wondering if it hit the, uh, the previous orb with the, the that was on top of the um, Geoclone Master. But I remember that... Oh, hey! 
That's not treasure and you didn't even know what it was for. It's not treasure. But I guess you wouldn't know that. I mean, there was one girl that was in love or, well, not in love. Infatuated with an orb, so maybe, I don't know. These people are crazy. And last one of the uh, challenges is this. Not a circuit, but it's motion control. We need to count how many orbs are in the box. And then by color and all that. Yeah, really, really fun stuff, wouldn't you say? Uh, so I see one, two, three, four purples. Two metal ones. Three metal ones. One pink or red. One red, two yellow. One, two, two green. All right, let's start counting. So green, well, yellow, it's two. As well as green, I believe. But there are no. Oh, the me the metal ones don't count. So red is one. And purple were four. Hey, first time. I guess repeating out loud um, helps with it. Oh, one of the ends open up, so um, I I if you move the... Um Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the metal one, okay. So to open the, um, the chest, I I'll, I'll do that, uh, hold one second. Hmm. I think it was supposed to open, but I don't know why it didn't. So, when it opens, it drops all the balls, we, you have to grab one of the big metal ones and put that in the, in the place up there. And with the last of the shrines completed, we now have to go to Bana Boris. But first, I'll go <laughs> make something real quick here at Gerud Town, so I'll meet you at Naboris. Right, here we are back again, next to Vanna Boris. So what I forgot to do is I had all the ingredients to make a dish. You're looking at it, at it, at it electric, saf, electric saflina. But I forgot to make the dishes. <laughs> so, before you enter and continue with this, eat one of these. Get some electric resistance because, well, you'll see.
But... That's right. This DLC, the entire premise is... Woo, that we are going to the memory of the champions. Ow! Ow! So, not only are we in the memory, we are limited in our options. So, right now, I only have the Scimitar of the Seven and the Edge of Duality. This, if you remember, is the weapon of uh, Urbosa. We don't have a bow, we have two shields, and, well, basic loading, three items of food, which won't do anything if we get too hurt, which already started to happen. But, the thing is that all the fates that you get when that you eat or drink before the, the fight, you'll maintain. So that's why I ate that Staraf Staffarilla whatever dish. Ow! Well, <laughs> whoa, we didn't expect that attack. So, well, we are half done with, almost half done with the, with the health. This flurry will do that, yep. And on the second half, everything is electric. This is why I recommend the electric resistance. For all the other um, blights, uh, the other three blights, I would rather recommend... The... Um, the, um, the strength uh, potions or whatever you have at hand. No, I don't need this. Ah, I don't even know where he is. Ah, it's on, on the other side. He's around there somewhere. Ah! They do get electrified in order of how he drops it. Have more luck with this. There you go. He went on top. No, there it is. Whoa! Oh! Oh, that was close. Luckily, thanks to the resistance. Oh, right, I don't have one. Oh, that was a close one! A very close one. Thanks to their assistance, they didn't drop all my weapons. Oh. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, I'll come clean. I came to this flight first for two reasons. The first one is that... What we get from defeating this flight will be very useful for the other three. Well, two. The, the one of the three is a bit harder to to perform. And the second one is that this was the flight that gave me the most trouble in all my playthroughs. Well, there's one more that also gives me a lot of trouble, but this one specifically. Hi, Cass. How's it going? Oh. Hi. Yeah, yeah, I actually I I kind of get it that get that. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, okay. I'd love to hear that. It, well, I mean if it's ready to be heard. Hmm. 
Recall never see champion of sun before she was lost to the land. She for was us heart was strong. So the princess came along. Princess of Hyrule. I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me! Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> 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 For our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world, yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. <laughs> Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Yeah, I mean, I love Urbosa. It's one of my favorite ladies in all of the mm. Zelda games. Although she's not gonna top uh, Payam. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I think that song really mm. comprises Urbosa as a whole. I guess. Now I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Mm, and that's... That's the thing that I wanted to get from this. Or was this here? Uh, it was only less than three minutes. Nice. Yeah, uh, with Orbosa's Fury now on lower <laughs> cooldown, I can try to use this against the other blights. 
and then get it, have it ready for the next one without having to grind for time. I don't... I'm not really entirely sure how much time I have left with all that I'll be cutting. But there's something I want to do now that I found 300 rupees. <laughs> and for that we need to go to Hateno Village. It's been a while since we last were here. If you remember correctly, I believe the last time we were here I bought the house back and added a weapon rack yeah for the trident so now that I have some more money I'll be improving some more stuff let's see let's go for more displays I want a weapon mount Hunter, yeah I'll actually use all my money on this, so I'll, I'll cut this and show you what I built. What, yeah, what I built. Hi. Ah. Okay, here we are. Um, hey, I'm Link, and welcome to my crib. I guess it's not complete, but um, well, I added some flowers, and there are some trees up here. And we have a sign with our name, I think. Yeah, Link's house. I also added a, a door. <laughs> and inside, ta-da! Some lighting and some uh, place to hang my weapons. You can get three uh, main weapon, uh, whatever these are. Three for bows and three for shields over here. These are all the weapons for from the um, the champions. I did use um, Revali's bow uh, last episode a bit. It saved me a lot of time and a lot of headache, so that's why I used it. And I also had a bed, so anytime I need some uh, refreshing naps, I can come here to replenish my health. Uh, <laughs> I should also mention, full disclosure, I uh, when I went to pick up... Um, this thing over here at the um, at the Goron City. Uh, there, there is um, a Gerudo there that bought ten amber for five five hundred rupees. So that's how I funded five more things. Every upgrade costs a hundred rupees. That's why I was able to do all of that. <laughs> hey, that is a great place to stop for now. So I thank you for watching, if you liked this episode, hit the like button, if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button, but leave a comment telling me what you liked or didn't like, so I can improve. Jalisco, out.